Hey everybody, it's Victor here with the Batman Unlimited figure of the, from the Dark Knight Returns Batman comic book by Frank Miller. Uh, this is a comic book that came out in the 1980s, mid-1980s. Uh, it's pretty much based after Jason Todd had died, uh, the second Robin. And Batman uh, pretty much gave up uh, the cape for, I don't know, like X amount of years. I don't really remember how many years. And at some point, you know, you know, like years later, some, you know, so certain events happened and he put the cape back on and he became Batman. So now he's a uh, Batman in his mid fifties. So that, so he's not, uh, I would think as, ad as agile as he was before. This is kind of my interpretation. So he kind of, you know, bulked up a bit, you know, to make up for his agility, you know, lack of this. Um, you can see here, here's the third Robin. It's a girl. What's her name? Something Kelly, I believe. Um, and here's a little bit bit of everything. I can't get a reflection. Uh, ten years. There you go. I'm sure if you want, you could read that. And here's some pictures of some other Batmans in the in the line. Planet X Batman. I believe this is the New 52 Batman. And a little thing on him. No real name: Bruce Wayne. Occupation: CEO, crime fighter. Location: Gotham City. Powers: Ability: Skills. Martial arts expert, master detective, vast arsenal of weapons and gadgets. Alright, well let's crack open the box and take a look at the figure. Alright, now that the figure's out of the package, let's have a closer look. Um, there you go. It's very nice and nicely sculpted details and good color wraps. There's only two real main flaws that I see in here. It's right here on the arm. You can see here it's like spotty. And right here under the belt is like a little bleeding. Other than that, it's, you know, the paint on the figure is decent. Uh, he does acquire, or he has acquired most of his parts from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. So, if you've never had one before, this is pretty much a He-Man figure with the Batman head and cape. And a few add-on, you know, gloves and boots and stuff. But for the most part, you have a He-Man figure here. So, enjoy. Alright, let's see with his cape. It's a very nice, sturdy, thick cape compared to the other Batman figures that I've had, or that I have. This is probably the most thickest out of them all, and it's very heavy very back heavy. So you gotta be a bit careful when you stand him because he might lean back so it might be good just to pull him forward a little bit or if you have any kind of stands you know like here I have a He-Man the Castle Grayskull stand which works fairly well on the pegs for the He-Man figures. Let's see there you go. Uh, he does come with one accessory that is a battering, and as you can see, mine came a bit warped, just cause the way it's packaged in the in the box. But I'm sure it doesn't really matter too much. You know, you could fix it if you really wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, some very nice sculpted detail on the belt, and his chonies, his boots. You can see some. Nice folds in the boot. Let's take the standoff, and he has some very nice detail underneath. Some nice sculpted detail on the bottom of the boots, which is very nice. Good for kicking. Some nice little grimace, you can see his nose, nostrils, eyes, little bat ears. Alright, let's get to the articulation. He could look up, he can look down. Look side to side. He could lean to the side and lean to the other side. Uh, his arms can pretty much move up about that high. So rotation here at the upper bicep. Bend at the elbow. 
a twist at the wrist, twist at the waist, ab crunch. Mm. He does uh, this part right here, this section, the belt and the his chonies are one solid rubber piece, but it does not you know, hinder the articulation at all. In the Okay. And you got like this little separate piece in there, like a ball joint with the swivel, so you got a decent, good amount of movement there. And his knee, give it about that much. There's a swivel here in the upper boot. And an ankle rock back and forth and a slight ankle pivot. Now let's do a quick comparison with the DC Direct version. As you can see, the colors are slightly different. And he's surprisingly a little bit taller. So let's take a quick look here. Let's move the arm out of the way. Let's see, assemble the belts. See, now this face has a, lot, a bit more sculpted detail in it than this one does, I think. This one matches the comic book just a bit more, but. It is still a nice expression on the face. And since this is pretty much a Master of the Universe sculpt, let's compare him to a He-Man figure. As you can see, they do look very similar. The legs are upper. This whole part of the leg is reused. As you can see, the details are pretty much spot on. Uh, pretty much the whole arm. The midsection and the chest. This, uh, this might not be He-Man's exact mold, but there are a few different ones, but it's pretty much the same thing, just slightly different sculpt. You know, like this one has nipples, this one doesn't. And, uh, shoulder, the bicep, pretty much the same. And here we have the new 52 DC Direct Batman from the Justice League uh, pack. I believe it's the We Can Be Heroes or whatnot. You can see there. Height wise, it's fairly close. I guess you could, uh. You could say, you know, as you get older, you kind of shrink a little bit, so. Might be pretty spot on. As you can tell, he is much more bulky. I guess that pretty much concludes this review. It's a very nice figure. I do highly recommend it. It's if you're a fan of the Dark Knight Returns, and you're not really into the whole, pretty much DC Direct fixed pose, pretty much Batman. But yeah, that's pretty much does it for this review. Thanks for watching.